Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Three Floyds Brewing Company's Alpha Claws. The Alpha Claws is a Christmas porter, so they say. Uh, it's not normal. That's what the uh, their whole spiel is. That's the branding. It's not normal. And yeah, no, this doesn't look normal in any way. That doesn't no. look like a Santa Claus that's friendly or or anything. Looks like Satan himself. It's also spelled Klaus. Klaus. So, so it's um, the, the actual dude. Some Isn't there some Nordic, like, you know, mythology about yes. there being some kind of scary there Santa Claus? There is. There is. And it chases children through the streets. And that's the that's the thing. So maybe that's why it's like a horror story yeah. for like Norwegian kids. Yeah, it's crazy. Anyways, uh, let's read this this uh, bottle. Alpha Claus is Alpha King's festive cousin, a big American Christmas porter brewed with English chocolate malt, Mexican sugar, and of course, tons of strange American hops. Threefloyds.com. These guys are out of Munster, Indiana, mm -hmm. which is an appropriately named place for a brewery of this uh, branding to be from, yeah. I guess. And that's probably why they did it. Maybe. Part of it anyway. I don't even know where that is. Where's Monster Indiana? I don't know. I'm scared to Google it. It's probably in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so yeah, we're looking at a deeply dark, dense beer. Uh, it's a porter, you know, like that's, what can you say? Black, it's black. Super dark, uh, very dense. I love the head on this right now. It's it does just... look good. It's got this kind of like coffee tan sort of, mm -hmm. you know, giant bubbles and, and denseness to it. Yeah, it looks really nice. Lacing looks great. Looks sticky. Yes. Looks like it's just gonna mm -hmm. stick to your ribs in the middle of winter. It'd be delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Let's take a nose on it. Christmas porter. Mm. Yep, I mean, just like a ton of sweet malt and uh, maybe some toffee. Yeah, like sticky toffee. And that's about it, really. Yeah. I mean, let's dive in because that's all we're gonna get on the nose. Cheers. Roasted malt deliciousness. Yeah, it's really roasty. It's like extremely roasty. They must use a lot of that uh, English chocolate malt there. So, but yeah, no uh, Christmassy festive flavors that I can no. detect at all. It's a big, bold, in-your-face porter with no regrets and, <laughs> um, but no Christmas to speak of. So I'm not sure what makes it a Christmas porter particularly. I was hoping for a little bit of spice there, maybe some clove, a little bit of spruce tips. Yeah, that'd be nice. Just a tad. Just something. But uh, you know, you get you get none of that. Sorry. On the merits of being an actual porter though, pretty good. Yeah. Like definitely hyper malty, uh, super sweet. Uh, not cloyingly sweet, but it is definitely sweet, but with this crazy bitterness to, to sort of balance that sweetness out. Um, it's not like super complex, I would say. Uh, it's just, I, I'm just tasting, I'm just getting that one particular malt characteristic. Yeah. Like it's not like this dense ball of different things. It's just straight malt to the face, done. I mean, to me, it reminds me of uh, an English style porter. Yeah, you know what it does. It's very to the point, very direct, but it does that one direct thing very well. Yeah. Quality beer. But um, yeah, if you're looking for something a little bit more complex, uh, as the label may suggest to you, uh, you may be disappointed. That's what I got. All right, guys, so that does it from us. If you liked what you saw, hit the like and subscribe buttons. And until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.